Okay, y'all, we had some kind of little glitch. But anywho, I got everything in the bowl now. The two head of, um, two head, two heads of broccoli, one large onion, half of a uh, large, um, not, not, not green pepper, one large onion, two heads of, uh, broccoli, fourth of a cup of raisins, fourth of a cup of, uh, craisins. You can leave both of them out. You can leave one or the other of them out. Your choice. Also put a uh, fourth of a cup of bacon bits, either real or imagined. No, she kidding. Real or the ones that you buy in the jar. You make your own bacon bits or you can buy the ones that out the jar. They work just as well. Uh, one cup of mayo and a fourth of a cup of sugar. And we're going to put a dash of black pepper in here. Okay. okay, got the black pepper in, about a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and now we're ready to give it a stir, and then after we do this pretty much, we're going to go ahead and get, and, and remember, if you've made this with me before, you chunk it like this, and, and do what I call bruising the veggies. That means to just get them, um, break them down a little bit so all that seasoning will go through. And it seems like we're going to have to put a little bit more mayo. Oh, and I've got a fourth of a cup of the balsamic vinaigrette in here as well. Won't have to put any salt in here at all. Don't need any salt. You don't want to get too much mayo going in here because tomorrow, you know, uh, broccoli is an, a water vegetable. Okay? So it'll break down. And it'll get a little bit watery tomorrow, okay? So, I don't know. We may not need any more mayo. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what we got going on. Okay. I'm going to put uh, another fourth of a cup of mayo in there for you. Okay. I love to do that. <laughs> there it goes. Another fourth of a cup of mayonnaise. And give it another stir. And we're just about done with this. And we're going to move on in a few minutes to making the kale salad, which will be just as simple and easy to make as this rock salad. It takes, when you start to finish, you can have this on the table in about 30 minutes, truly. Because by the time you wash it, chop it, and put it together, get it in a bowl, and let it and chill it for about, well, you chill it as long as you want to. You don't have to chill it if you don't want to. But if you're going to chill it and get it good and chilled, it takes about 30 minutes. But just to get this on the table, my friends, a good 30 minutes, okay? I hear my chicken calling me. Get over there and get it going. So, we're just going to put this broccoli salad in one of my favorite containers. Get a little bit out. Remember I told you, taste your food. Now you got to taste it and make sure it's okay. It's perfect. I knew it was going to be perfect. There we got homemade broccoli salad. And we don't have to pay, what, $5 a pound for it? In the grocery store. That simple. Be right back. Okay, we're back. It's time to get this broccoli salad started, y'all. So, what I've done so far, I've got my broccoli. Okay, I bought a, a one pound bag of broccoli. And a pound of broccoli is a lot because it doesn't weigh that much. So I got a one pound bag of broccoli. I'm sorry about that. I just got done with the broccoli. I'm thinking broccoli. Kale. We're making kale salad. The broccoli salad is already done. Okay, so what we're doing now is kale. Let's, I'm going to use my food processor to bruise it. I'm just going to pulse it a little bit to bruise that kale. About that much. Just pulse it a few times and uh, 
chop that broccoli up. To, uh, uh, Y'all know we're making kale. So if I say broccoli, I mean kale. I say broccoli, you say kale. How about that? Okay, so let's get that out. I think that's enough. We'll do it just for some of it. You don't want all of it to be really, really small. But if you look at the size of, see what I mean about bruising? You know, broccoli is kind of a tough, leafy, kind of a um, leathery, leafy, I always call it. That's why it wouldn't go down. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just, uh, it's going to take me about four or five times to get all this in my food processor and get it all. So just stuff it in there, push it down really good, and like I said, about four of these, and I'll have it all chopped up. Okay, so let's do one more. Okay. Bottom. It's not going to chop up but it's so fine because of uh, the texture. You probably think, oh, it's going to be like mush. No, it's not going to be like mush. It's a long way from mush. Like I say, you're going to leave some of it leaky. Okay. That's enough on that one. But see, you don't want to leave it too leafy because see, you got those stems in there. And in your salad, you want them big old thick stems. I'm trying to chew those big thick stems unless they're cooked, you know. The leaves, it doesn't matter, but the stems, you want them chopped up. Okay. This this will take a little bit of time, you know, to make it's simple because the main thing about this is getting everything chopped. Okay, I've already chopped my uh onions and some uh, yellow peppers up. I've already did that. I don't want them big pieces in there. So you just sort of go to look through and make sure you don't have any really. See how it chops up nice and fine like that. And you can enjoy it. And, you know, there may be some people who like the big leafy kale or the stems. I don't know. I don't like mine personally. I don't like the. And, and this is how you get it chopped up if you want it chopped, okay? Chef's choice, I always say. Do it however you like it or how your family likes it. So for this recipe, this is the way I'm doing it. Okay. So we'll be right back. We're going to get the rest of this chopped up, and I'll be back when we put the salad together. Okay, dear friends, it's time to mix the kale salad. Okay. Now, kale salad is just a simple, it's broccoli salad. I showed it to you in its uh, starting out form, we'll call it. In the, from the bag, washed it, let it drain real good. Put it into the uh, food processor, pulse it, and, and let it uh, bruise and chop. I like mine chopped, as you can see. And it makes a good amount. This is one pound of broccoli chopped up. Okay, so this is uh, four of those little red sweet peppers and a medium onion chopped. So I'm just going to put all that right on top. Normally, I put um, fresh corn. Uh, they didn't have any fresh corn the other day. I didn't have any, so we're not doing corn in it today. So, what we're going to do now is go ahead and get everything all mixed in. It's so pretty. Y'all know I love decorations. That uh, red and yellow and white and green just so pretty together. Okay. This is a wonderful, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You know what? In this salad, if you wanted to add other stuff, you could. This is my recipe for it. Again, I normally have corn in there, but I don't have any corn, so I can't put corn. I had some corn on the car, but I thought, yeah, I'm not going to do all that now. It's not that serious. So, I've got onions and red peppers. Now, I'm going to start with my seasoning. First... I've got some classic, season's going to be real simple, balsamic vinaigrette. You need to douse it down with that real good. That's about a fourth of a cup for this amount, I think we'll do. You may have to put a little bit more. 
And where's my dear friend brown sugar? Fourth cup of brown sugar. And I'm about to forget. I need to put some tomatoes in there. Side of brown sugar. Ooh, I gotta get a Sam's Club. I may have to beat the bottom of the barrel for my sugar. I'm gonna put a little bit of black vinegar in there. Well, okay, that ought to be a good fourth cup. I hope I don't need too much more than a fourth cup. I forgot to chop some tomatoes, so hold on just a sec. Let me chop up uh, a medium-sized tomato. Okay, I'm back. I didn't have a, a medium tomato. So this is, um, I love those little Capori tomatoes. They're just really, really good. They have a real good tomato -y flavor. And all you got to do is just dice them up like so. And they work well. And this, to me, because... They are real taste. They they taste like real tomatoes. They make you want to get two slices of uh, white bread and put some mayonnaise on it to make a tomato sandwich. These are this is how good these little Campari. I think I'm saying it right. Campari, C O M P A R I, Campari tomatoes. They're really good and tasty. Tell you that they're good on a salad, omelet. If you if you're a tomato or vegetable eater like I am. They are really good. Uh, just, you know, just where well, you're not supposed to have salt. But now I've put my little uh, lime and cilantro seasoning on there. It works real good. Here I go with these dull knives again, y'all. Please send me to the knife store. I've got to buy, I had that knife. You remember those knives that they, I can't even think the name of them real expensive. I had those honey. They walked out the door down the street somewhere. I don't know where they are. But anyway, I thought I had one of those left. And it really lasts. Now I tell you what I do have left out of that set. Scissors. I was just excited because at that time I was doing a little bit of sewing, a little bit of upholstery work. This has been years ago. My scissors are still just sharp so that uh, I might need to invest again and maybe just be more cautious about um where they go, I don't know who took my knives. I promise you, I don't. Where they, I, I just don't know. Let me just stop because I don't even know what happened to those knives. That, that knife set was like three or four hundred dollars for a set of knives. And y'all remember when people come by and talk into them expensive knife? So look, at that time, I could put three or four hundred dollars on a whole bunch of stuff with it. And I think you know you could do a little credit account and all that kind of craziness. But I did. I can remember. I sure did. Sure did. Same way I did with my waterless cook. And I got to say to y'all, that cookware lasts forever because I bought that cookware. I think I told y'all this story before. I think I bought it when Tansy was a baby. And I still have it. I was going to get me a piece of foil. A small piece of foil here, y'all. My, you know what? I, I've seen some little things that you can buy. Like this. Salsa won't fit up. I, I hear y'all saying, so use the salsa. Salsa won't fit under there. But I think this is me. This is why, this is one of the things I like about this little cutting board. Is that um, you can do that. Okay. Alright. So. Let's pour a little bit more of that vinaigrette. Ring at the door. I see you, boy. Yeah, that is green. Make sure you work around because he's tall like that, too. Okay, so get this all mixed up. And I believe. Does he have a key or not? You don't have your key? They, they work me. They really work me. I'm going to have to stop with this baby with this child in the door. Yeah. He got it. Well, I thought I 
parking at the stop and let you in, boy. I know, but I, it was taking you so long, I thought you might not have had your key. Oh. Lay it over on the counter for me. Thank you. You know what? I get mail every day, a whole box for like five, six pieces every day. And you know what? It feels so good. The only bill I get in there is like, you know, my electric. No, my electric bill don't come. Well, yeah, they do. That's in your pocket. But my all my bills are paid like that, that automatic pay thing. I don't get any. Like my, you know what my mom and me said, I don't get a done. Y'all remember that word, a done. Nobody's done in me. Pretty good. I need my uh, a little bit of. I just tasted it. I need a little bit of uh, my vinegar. A little bit, a little bit. About a half a teaspoon. And this you can put, you can use cilantro. I should have put up some cilantro in there, but I didn't. Oh well. I believe this is about ready, y'all. See how simple it is? These kind of, um, Salads are very good. They're very pretty. They're nice for you know if you whenever you start back doing potluck again, or if you just want to do one of these kind of salads and have a meat with it, it's wonderful. So this kale salad is ready for consumption. I'm gonna put it in a bowl, put it in the freezer, chill a little bit, and it's ready. We're gonna move on. I'm not doing spaghetti. I decided I'm gonna, I'm using those uh, those noodles. But I'm going to use like um, the elbow macaroni noodles. So hold on. Okay, we're back, y'all. Time to put this um, spaghetti, not spaghetti. We started out with spaghetti. I discovered I did not have enough spaghetti noodles. So I got me some elbow macaroni. So we're just going to make us a, a spaghetti style air elbow macaroni bake. Y'all know I was going to fix that up, didn't you? <laughs> okay. And it's so simple, y'all. All I'm going to do with it, I'm, since I got a lot of sauce, a lot, a lot of sauce, I'm just going to mix me some sauce in these noodles. It was a little bit different, you know, in texture and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to mix all this together. And then I'm going to put in me a cup of Parmesan cheese. A cup of Parmesan cheese. Okay. Just mix it. And that's the only thing I'm doing different, really, is putting in this Parmesan cheese. And then I'm just going to put it in my baking dish and pour some um, more sauce in between and on top of it to make sure we get us a good smattering because you know um, spaghetti noodles are thin so they're easier to penetrate this reminds me of something i used to make for my children when they were com coming up so the only difference between this and what i used to make is this i'm baking it back in the day we just put it in a pot and that was it so let's go with half of this mixture in my baking pan half of it. Half of it. And then we're just going to lay it on just like so. Just like so. And we're just going to put the other half in there, right on top like that. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just label it up real good, like so. There'll be extra if anybody needs extra sauce. Okay, and you know those noodles are gonna cook up some more, and they're gonna soak up that sauce. You know, we always cook them, what you call it, al dente. Okay. Now, we're going to make us a little something, something to go on top of here with some breadcrumbs. How's that? A little breadcrumb, a little cheese, uh, and a little garlic to go on top to garnish it with. So, hold on just one second, y'all. Okay, this is about ready to be chopped and put into the oven. I'm not going to put any extra butter. I can put butter in here, but I'm not because I got all this cheese going on. So I got um, my Parmesan cheese, of course. I've got some uh, a white American cheese and some sharp New York cheese and breadcrumbs in there. And, of course, you know, all my seasonings out the fridge. I'm sorry, out the cabinet. Garlic powder, onion, not onion powder, but just garlic powder. Um, so we're just going to, just a nice little topping to go on there. And I got a little secret weapon in there too. One little secret weapon in that's in there. Oh, I've got some uh, Italian seasonings in there as well, so. Can't give away all my little secrets now. Okay, so what I'm going to do, this is going to go in the oven about 30 minutes. It's kind of heavy. Um, about 30 minutes. And I'm going to place a uh, piece of foil on the top. I'm not going to wrap it tight. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Sorry. Well, I don't even have to do that. I got these little cover things here that come with, well not they don't come yet the purchase separately but I'm gonna put one of these over that's what I want to do right there okay I'm just gonna put it down on there like so and it's going into the oven for 30 minutes okay and in goes That's hot, y'all. That is hot. I'm coming out with my uh, chicken. It's time to bring this chicken out. Okay, real fast time. Anyway, 30 minutes on this, and then the whole meal will be ready. Now, the chicken, as you can see, is beautifully brown. And let's hope that seasoning we made up to put on there, did it. it's going to taste just as pretty as it looks. Um, I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to mix up a little bit of glaze to put on there and I will be right back. I'll tell y'all what I'm going to put in this glaze. Okay, we on the downswing now, y'all. Those pinto beans, they look like navy beans on I don't know why they look. I guess because I soaked them, soaked all the stripes off of them, but those are pinos, believe it or not. That's what was on the bag anyway and they looked like pinos. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do to these beans, remember I told you I had that chopped ham? Well, it's not chopped ham, it's some, it was a ham I baked, and <clears throat> I had a pretty good amount of leftovers, so I chopped some up, and uh, I've been putting it in different pots, so it's going to go in the bean pot today. Probably got about two cups over here, 
I've got it in a freezer bag, so y'all know it's getting ready to get just dumped. I'm gonna dump it right in there. Nice big old chunky chunks of ham. And we're just gonna let it was frozen. Now it's, it's already cooked, of course, and the beans are done. So we're gonna let that ham sit in there and simmer. And we got us some nice creamy um, pinto beans. So you know, a bowl of beans and a piece of ham is a meal. Y'all do know that, right? Okay, so we're going to let that thaw out and simmer, and we'll be back. Got the rice on back there. Got that good old jasmine rice. You know, if you got beans, you got to have rice. Okay, so we'll be back shortly as soon as I get this sauce mixed for this chicken. Okay, I'm back with my sauce. This is uh, half a stick of butter. The broth off of the meat, garlic powder, a tablespoon of garlic powder. Probably this is a, a cup, this is a big size cup, so we're getting a cup full. I'm just gonna pour it back over that meat and put run it back up on the oven and let it brown up a little bit. And that's our everything garlic butter chicken. Okay, y'all, dinner is served. That is my garlicky everything chicken. Isn't that just beautifully brown? And it tastes so wonderful, y'all. Right next to it is that um, breadcrumb and cheese topped. Well, not spaghetti today, but um, elbow macaroni with meat sauce. Yeah, elbow macaroni with meat sauce topped with uh, breadcrumbs and cheese. And, of course, there is the kale salad broccoli salad jasmine rice pinto beans with ham chunks so we in for a big old dinner today i felt like cooking a lot of stuff today so as you can see i've got it all cooked it's ready to go uh the flavor train will be full in here shortly uh i think i hear the whistle blowing long about now because they said they'd be here around five ish it's around five ish y'all and we're just waiting. I'm distracted, y'all can tell. I'm sorry, excuse me. Anywho, dinner is served, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for praying for me, encouraging me, and standing in the gap for me while I've been on this uh, viral journey, getting better every day, y'all. Thank you so, 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 so much. Um, I was... Uh, start videoing last night because I was painting. I was really feeling my Cheerios last night. So I'll give y'all a sneak peek because I don't know when I'm going to get the video up where I did the actual painting because I've got to edit. You believe I got to edit something, honey? Uh, I'm not the best when it comes to editing. Not that I don't know how. It's just that I don't like to. But certain things you have to edit out uh, when it goes beyond the limit. So I got to edit out a few things. But anyway... I just can't wait for y'all to see this cabinet that I painted. I'm so proud of myself. See that cabinet? I painted that cabinet yesterday. I'm excited about it. I'm happy about it. I thank God for that. Look, it was like I could feel a wind behind me just pushing me saying, okay, you can do it. You feel like doing it? Get up and do it. Because I've been saving myself sort of all week long, not doing a whole lot of stuff. So, end result, y'all. Listen, until I decide to cook again, thank y'all again. Keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down. Keep on praying without ceasing. Standing in the gap for one another. Doing something kind and cooking some good old food. Some good old Sunday dinner, as a matter of fact, today. So we're uh, getting ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy this meal. Can't wait till the kids get here. Because I've been cooking a little bit, but not a lot. I did Sunday dinner last Sunday, but it wasn't a lot. But I got I got the big the big guns out today. So anywho, y'all. Love you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in. And until I decide to cook again, now keep those prayers going up so the blessings will continue to come down and continue to stand in the gap for somebody. And also, most importantly, continue to pray without ceasing for the things that are happening in our world today. Thank you. Love you. To Lou.